rot is one of the main concerns for people growing succulents. And it is indeed a danger to many succulent plants, but some tend to be more prone to die from rotting than others. In this video, we'll firstly quickly have a look at what rot is and why succulents especially get affected by it. I think this is important to dive into as it will help to better understand why some succulents seem to be more prone to rot. Quite simply, rot is mostly fungal and bacterial disease. It can affect any plant and can be especially prolific if the conditions are right. Rot can be slimy, watery, mushy but also dry and hard. With succulents, the bacteria or fungus tend to cause mushy or slimy rot. Most plants, succulent or not, are likely to suffer rot if they are waterlogged. Waterlogging limits oxygen supply which will cause the roots to die and this is when rot and decay causing organisms make their move. But many succulents tend to suffer rot more than other plants. This could very likely be due to the fact most succulents have evolved to conserve water. For instance, most succulents, unlike many other plants, are capable of something called Crusulacean acid metabolism. I'll be doing a separate video on CAM later this week as it takes a bit of explaining. But in a nutshell, CAM allows succulents to open their stomata at night which is when they perspire. This is a water saving feature. When stomata are open during the day, a plant will experience more water loss. But in cultivation, in climates that are wetter and more humid than those of succulent homeland, CAM may be a disadvantage. Humidity can saturate leaves with fine mist, not allowing them to release water. And if there isn't enough air circulation, the plant can rot. So succulent adaptations to dry environments are likely to make them more susceptible to rot causing organisms in climates that are not that dry. Another reason is succulent specific diseases that prefer these plants and are likely to attack them. Fusarium and Neocosmospora species in particular can cause both dry and soft rot and prefer succulents as hosts. Link to the research on this is in the description. So, I own a small succulent nursery and have been growing succulents as well as other plants for over a decade now. And based on observation and studying, I believe that some succulent types are more resistant to rot than others. While my experiences may not be exactly the same as, say, someone growing succulents in another climate, I do think they won't be too far off. Succulents are clever plants and, like many other organisms, have been adapting. The other day I stumbled upon a super interesting article which cited research into CAM plants and how they adapt. One of the findings was that some of these plants can switch how they exchange gases and can reverse CAM. This allows them to survive in higher rainfall and humidity environments. If you're interested in reading the article, the link is in the description below the video. I have long suspected that succulents can adapt to new environments and this is purely speculation, some do it better than others. Most of my around 50,000 succulents live outdoors all year round. While our climate can be pretty dry, we also get some very wet years. The great majority of my plants deal with this well and I rarely see rot. But not all succulents. I have a few that do go in the greenhouse when the weather is too wet. They are mostly hybrid Echeveria, some Cotyledon, some small growing Crassula and a few isolated cultivars such as Graptoveria amethorum. Over the years, I've moved from growing lots of interesting but often fickle hybrids to choosing the most hardy types. My reasoning is that if they need special treatment, a lot of my customers will struggle with growing them. I'm going to list a few succulent species and cultivars I have had rot problems with when they were exposed to too much rain and humidity. You can pause to read. If you had rot trouble with a specific succulent, please jump in the comments and share with us. There are also quite a few plants that I've never had trouble with no matter the weather. I've listed a few in another video of mine titled 30 super hardy succulents for full sun. 
and although these are full sun plants they have also never let me down during lots of rain and high humidity and on that note i think it's time to end i hope this video was useful and if you have anything to add or would like to ask a question you can do so in the comments below to learn more about succulents hit the subscribe button or go to succulentgrowingtips.com thank you so very much for watching